Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Mice and Magic 3. In this series, we will be following the barbarian adventures of the immortal hero, Tarnum. Alrighty folks, we are back for part 2 of Warlords of the Wasteland. We are on Scenario 5, Siege of the War Peaks. Tarnum must somehow battle his way through this heavily fortified region, defeating all the castles before he continue onward. Don't lose Tarnum. All heroes are limited to level 21, and the two strongest heroes will follow Tarnum to the next map. Alright, I am going to rock and roll with 15 Orc Chieftains, let's do this. A vast mountain range called the Wall Peaks separated the barbarian steppes from the Empire of Bracadoon. So the wizards built a castle in every pass to keep their lands safe from invasion. They boasted that no army could cross the Wall Peaks. Tarnum set out to prove them wrong. Your shaman wakes you. I've had a dream, my king. A dream of your death. Killed by our enemy in yonder mountains. You ask, is this a prophecy or just a dream? Yes, my king, a prophecy, says the shaman, but it can be avoided. You must assemble a powerful artifact that sights in thunder. With its power at your command, even the massive armies of our enemy can't stand against you. Titan's thunder. I don't think I've ever built that combination artifact before. I understand what it'd be made of, the Titan's Curious and all the other four Titan artifacts, but hmm, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, let's take that fight. Luckily we leveled this guy up a little bit, so he's a little bit more, uh, more buff. Alright, what have we got here? So we've got... Okay, let's get a magic guild in both of these then. And make our way to City Hall. A visit to a local witch proves useful. Not only does she cure the warts on your hand, but she also tells you how to assemble the Titan's Thunder. Find four artifacts. The Titan's Gladius, the Titan's Curious, the Thunder Helmet, and the Sentinel's Shield. With these, you'll possess power beyond your dreams. Seek the heart of the Magi, and he'll point the way. So it seems like this uh, combination artifact is to be built all in this one um, scenario. Certainly um, going to be interesting to see whether that follows us around in future um, missions, or whether it's just a, uh, a one-shot for this particular mission. Ooh, lovely, jovely. Alright, marketplace. So this is the reason why we hired Gernison, because he starts with the Ballista, and we want to transfer that to our main hero at our earliest convenience for every mission. And beyond that, his role is pretty much just to scout and, you know, gather intel, so to speak. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not a fight we can take just yet. Blacksmith. Blacksmith here. Angels guarding golden bow, eh? I don't think we can fight angels just yet as much as I want to. That's just going to lead to a fight. What are they protecting? A one way. Oh, great. So they can just teleport straight to my land. So I love that. Uh, not. That is cheeky. Ooh, rogues. Be good if they can join me. Ooh, nearly. 
nearly lost Gurnison. Um, yeah, blister are broken this early on in the game. Oh, we should pick up City Hall for sure. You could be a help to an old lady, eh? These days, I'm too eager to go travelling about looking for artefacts, but I'm not ready to retire yet. If you can bring me the hourglass of evil hour, I'll give you a little reward. Some gold, maybe. <laughs> I'll uh, be sure to keep an eye out for that lovely artefact. The months of combat have prepared you for the battles to come. Looming on the eastern horizon are the Wall Peaks, a vast mountain range with your enemy guarding every pass. Not even Yarg had to battle his way through these mountains, so you're about to cut a path no other has tread. You hear right, I do have the Thunder Helmet, and no, I will not sell it. You'll have to take it from my cold dead fingers. Oh, you could trade something for it. Say, the Hellstorm Helmet. That would be a good swap. Okay. So we are building this combo artifact, this mission. Good to know. Ooh, I think we could do better than that. No need to lose troops unnecessarily. I mean, we've got a Ballista. How could they possibly lose? Easy, bruv. Okay, pack of swords. Where does this lead? Ooh, this leads to a nice army. Lovely, jovely. I kind of preferred money, but, um, whatever. Is what it is. Oh yeah, Gurney boy. Oh Gurney. We should probably head towards a uh, castle next. Not a fan of losing stuff unnecessarily, but. Definitely not losing that much. Damn, Blister is so good. Tarn was getting pretty strong. I mean, I guess that's the benefit of doing eight maps back to back, right? You end up with an absolute monster at the end of it all. <laughs> Let's get a Wyvern Nest as well, why not? Okay, end of the line for you. With a little base. Wobbler. Du, 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 du. What can we see? Oh my. If that's their strongest hero, that is uh, not going to end well for them. Jesus, that discrepancy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter what kind of army they're rocking. Like, that hero does not beat mine. <laughs> oh, boy. We should get a Citadel.
Oh, uh, this takes me to my entrance. Right, okay. So enemies can't just waltz up in my base. That's good. I'm actually quite happy about that. <laughs> that would be rather annoying. Right, I need to actually start doing some stuff with this guy. Ooh, boots of speed, lovely. You've taken to eating your meals alone in your tent, so you're a little annoyed when your advisor and friend Hardak interrupts you. What's bothering you, my king? Is it the barbarian woman? Nothing, you say. Although Hardak is right, you miss Yala even though you had such a short time with her. Hardak doesn't press the issue, but when he leaves you regret having lied to him. Not only that, but you feel very alone. Again. I do find that whole love story thing very intriguing. I, I want to see where that ends and where that goes. Um. We're raking in five G's. Okay, that's not too bad. Which that is pretty good, to be fair. Back of ogres. Oh, we could take some easier fights first. Could and should. If we need a castle. Ooh, equestrians gloves, sign me up. If they join me, by the way, that would be absolutely nuts. Gunnison doing his job and then some. Ooh, that's actually not that much. Oh, that's... We can take that fight. Ah, Titan's Gladius. Lovely, Jovely. We get capital next turn. Things are looking a shamu. Where we should go in. All of Valhalla. Ah, that's a shame. I really wanted them to join me, but... Can he have it all, Captain? Let's have a look. What else have we got? We've got a monolith two way times two for a gold mine. I might use this dude. Adelaide, yeah, she ain't got much. We should definitely push our advantage against these guys. Uh, several. Yeah, we can deal with that. 3156, yeah. None of these aren't the best of trades, but. They're not terrible either, to be honest, for, for what we're fighting. Ooh, Hydra. Shame I couldn't get that. Last turn, but never mind. Um, damn. Sure.
A recent rock slide has revealed some gems and gold in the side of the mountain. You stop your troops long enough to have your men dig them out. Then move on, with the sense that the ancestors are looking down on you with favour. Ooh, treasure. Alright, start upgrading the boys. That's what we need to do. Okay, I'm starting to get to the point where my army is actually getting quite expensive. Ooh. Okay, we should definitely do better than that. Actually, we don't really have much at all, do we? Yep, still got enough. Is that going to be enough to kill one, two, three? Might survive a retaliation. Oh no. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Seems like a good enough trade. Nothing, not even your past victories over your enemies seem to give you satisfaction anymore. With each victory, you hear a dozen stories of armies who have failed to fight their way through the wall peaks and the torturous punishment these men receive for their arrogance. I am very curious to see how um, Heroes Chronicles leads into Heroes 4. One of your bards rides up next to you. Macking, I recognise this place. A battle was fought here long ago between a great clan and an army of titans. It is rumoured the titans Gladius, a weapon of tremendous power, is still lost among the bones. Okay, I'm pretty sure the titan, I, I suspect we'll probably have to fight titans. I mean, as the namesake would suggest. Do we want to travel down? Hmm. That's a big army that I don't think we're ready to take on just yet. Take on some easier victories first. Maybe grab Gurnison to bring me an army worthy of Mordor. Just as the bard said, the Titan Gladius has dropped here long ago in an ancient battle, but today it is guarded by a large group of gold golems. Do you want to fight them for this powerful weapon? Yes. 56. Wow. That's no joke of an army. Alright, well, we're actually going to have to use tactics for this uh, battle then, boys. Uh, one there, one there. One there. One there. Them in there. That way, all my ballistic, everything's protected. Right, so these things are immune, basically, to... There we go, blast the ballista. They're immune to, basically, damaging spells, for the most part. 85% damage reduction. But I think our ballista's going to do all the heavy lifting, hence why we're blessing it. I think we should bless a few things, to be fair. Wow, they pools are rubbish. Those bulls over there are rubbish. They are actually bad. <laughs> What's their movement? Five, one, two, three, four, five.
be fair, the boars are fodder. I don't care about them at all. My job is to tank, whilst everyone else wails on these boys. Lovely, lovely. That's 10 attack minus... or oh, 12 attack minus 3 defense. Woof. Do I need to deal with this guy straight away, or...? I suppose I probably do. Is there a key master's tent just there? I should probably pick that up. Gernison could probably deal with them with an army. Adelaide, is she any good? No idea. Probably not. I appreciate that's a bit of an assumption, but... <clears throat> Such a ragtag army. But that's the power of leadership, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> the boys are happy regardless. Yeah. Oh yeah, best unit. One of the best units in the game. Most overlooked unit. Love them. They really are the goats, old dragonflies. It's so, so busted for a level 3 unit, but it's it's needed because Fortress is a weak faction in my opinion. And to be fair, Stronghold for the most part kind of is too. You have a long talk with the Bards about the history of the Wall Peaks, especially the military history of the region. What they have to say is not encouraging. No one has been able to conquer these mountains. They are just too many castles. But one tactic hasn't been tried, a true horde, an army so massive it would break the back of the world. You must build that horde. Yeah, I think just a go to the hero should be enough. <laughs> Ooh, back of Cyclops Kings, join me. No, traitors. All right, let's deal with, uh, with this. Problemo. Wow, there's all my money. Shoot. Ain't got no money. A report comes in that one of your supply trains was attacked. The enemy appeared out of nowhere, stole everything and disappeared. Trackers tried to follow them, but nothing. It was as if they were never there. They stole my bloody money. They were there, alright. <laughs> right, let's deal with this. Uh, we should... Build a ballista yard for Gurney. Should grab some bears. And some orcs. Come on, Gurney. I, I, in Gurney we trust. You stumble upon a small circle of colourful wagons camped beside a river. They are gypsies. They gladly mix with your troops, laughing and singing and dancing. The gypsies even give you lunch and an old woman reads your palm. When you finally part company with the folk, you and your men are in good spirits and continue humming some of the songs of the gypsies. Which lovely it is. So she's just going to be a pain. To know. Ooh, I found the Thunderstorm helmet. Seems like a pretty good trade. Na 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 na. This has got a nine attack already. Holy. Didn't even realise he was that strong, to be honest. Well, 
lightning bolt? Ow. Ah. Uh, oops. Air magic, sure. While sitting at your evening meal, one of your warriors tells a story about a secret place where bandits dwell, the Raiders Plateau. It is believed that these bandits have a secret entrance into the Wall Peaks, where they constantly ambush the supply wagons of the Wizard Kings from Brakadoon. Wouldn't it be nice if this place were real? Wouldn't it be nice? So there's that, so I just need to meet up these two armies. Lovely. Upgrade Ogre Match. Do we upgrade Ancient Bays? I don't know. It's so expensive. I don't think I've got the money to support them. Definitely don't have the money to support them now. How much money are we raking in? 11 G's and we still got no money. <laughs> The irony. Yeah, that is a monster army though. Gurney has my rag tag. I want this artifact. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Probably need a little army on this guy before we start taking that fight. We don't take it at all, maybe we let my main army deal with them. Evil hourglass of Let's get him there in position. We'll probably deal with these guys. Oh wow, nice. Oh, which lovely it is. See his hut, nice. Right, you give me Hellstrom Helmet. And you start searching for this evil hourglass, wherever that may be. Oh, there's Sentinel Shield, which is very close to us. There's Titan's Curious. Oh, right, so the Hellstrom Helmet probably leads to the... Right, I see. So let me check that. That was there. That's not that far away. We could... So diamond golems. Uh, you can deal with that. You can deal with that. In Rabak, we have faith.
I generally don't think I've ever built this artifact before, this combo. No idea what it does. Probably something completely and totally and utterly busted. Alright, see what I mean, you've got, uh, very little, okay, I'm not concerned about these cars, so I think we'll absolutely slap them when we actually get over there. Um, okay, let's take a bit of a detour. Ooh, that's a good, um, place to visit. And now even some of your commanders have started voicing their doubts about your plan. What do we care about these Bracadoon lands? We have our homeland back now, they say. But you disagree. How can you allow the enemy to sit comfortably in their towers, plotting the enslavement of the barbarian people? They've destroyed entire families as they did with the Allah. Even your own family has been scarred. Two days out of the year, your mother would always break down in tears as she recalled the birthdays of your two older sisters. Bracadoon law stated that no barbarian family could have more than one child, and your parents were so poor they needed a son to help with the hard work. They didn't want to do it, but they had to give their own daughters to the wizards. And then there was what they did to Yala. Wait, what did they do to Yala? Have I missed something? they kill Yala in the last episode or the last um, mission and I uh, ended it too early to find out the lore hot damn Jimmy I think that is a good trade by the way Cyclops for uh, goblins Ooh, that is a good trade but I think we can do better Oh man, Golden Bow, so good, so good, yeah, much better trade. Alright, two out of four, do grab number three, um, okay. I should have grabbed the bloody boots of speed. What a muck. Whoopsies. Barbarians don't need magic. Ah, should look that. Never mind. Um, okie dokie dokie wokey. Questions gloves, sure, let's grab that. Right, break these bad boys. Lovely. This one was Ooh, the Hellstorm helmet is much prettier than this old thing. Here, take it and leave me alone. <laughs> nice. 
All right, three out of four, boys. Ooh, a teleporter. Your supply lines have been hit again. This was no ordinary ambush. The enemy struck quickly and vanished before the troops you assigned to protect the wagons had had a chance to react. This will get costly unless you get rid of these ambushes. Right, let's um, grab the boots of speed and then let's start taking down our opponent. Obviously we need to meet up with these two as well. Level this guy a smidge. You possess all of the opponents needed to assemble the Titan's Thunder. Do you assemble the artifacts? Hero gains the ability to cast Lightning Bolt for 600 points of damage, does not cost any spell points, adds a spell book into their inventory permanently. Okay. Does it do all the same stats? Yes, the stats are exactly the same, it's just the Lightning Bolt. Yeah, that's okay. So, so, I would call that. 600 damage, though. That's actually pretty... That's no joke, and it costs nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not, not bad, not bad. Can he grumble, Captain? Oh, that was a close fight. Oh, no. A quivering bush alerts you to the attack seconds before it happens. You alert your men just as the desperate bandits spring from the shrubbery. Unfortunate. Luckily, I'm gonna keep you here. It's nice and safe. Keep you from harm. Wait, did I ever get that green hiki? I did get that green key master's tent. Oh, good. You're entering the wall peaks. Authorized travelers only. No papers, no passage. I just fight my way through, ain't got no problem with that. Ahead are the tall stone walls of a castle. Never have you seen such an organised defence of a town. You ask your captains if any have stormed a castle before, but they just shake their heads, so you shall be the first. Ooh. Easy bruv. And get stables for next week. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, hello. Okay, they've got a money problem since they're not buying all their troops. Wow, this guy is so weak. Okay, that is pretty nuts. Wow. Bye bye. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Oh, he's fighting. He thinks he's got a chance, boys. He ain't got no chance, lads. He is off his rocker if he thinks he could win this fight from there. Is certainly better than 24 hobgobs. Uh, this is where a uh, scouty hero could be quite useful, I suppose. Of 
that. So let's go grab a scouty boy just for that purpose. You go left or right is the question. Left. Also, what's right? Hmm. Meeting trolls. That is a lot of trolls. Eh. Purple. Okay, we don't have a purple tent. Was 24 the level cut? 21. Oh, so one more level then. Rip. Damn, that was uh, effective. That was this guy, 14. Yeah, he's been keeping an alright pace, to be fair. <laughs> oh, hello, Poppets. Goodbye, Poppets. Oh, we're just going to blitz through this, aren't we? Ooh. Where does that take me? Is that down there? Well, we should probably grab that. I want this guy to gain some XP. I'm wondering if we do the same with Gurnison actually. Maybe we'll give him just a little bit of a leg up in future missions. He's five. Okay, that's not too bad, to be fair. Today you named Hardak's eldest son, Tordak, one of your captains. The young warrior is a charismatic leader. The troops like him. Despite weeks of depression, you smile at the parental pride visible on your old friend's face. It is a good day. Yeah, you know what? That is probably a worth while trade. See what's going on. Mood for a fight, eh? Pandora's box. Quite by accident, one of your men finds a box buried in the sand. This must be what the Gorgons were guarding. You open it, discover a rare town portal spell locked within. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, because I don't have the, um, I don't have magic. How unfortunate. What could have been, lads? We could have had Town Portal. <laughs> Not that we need it. I mean, that would have been <clears throat> maybe a bit too much overpoweredness. There's got to be balance in the game. <laughs> At least some semblance of balance. Today was a very bad day. You had to kill an orc chieftain who had been with you since the beginning. A bold captain and a good leader. But Ungrod went too far. It happened so quickly. Ungrod's accusation that you were putting your personal blood quest ahead of your interests of the clan. You're as arrogant as a wizard. Those were the hasty words that enraged you. Swords were drawn. The duel was short. Okay, we should probably make sure there's, oh, there's no no defense to be had here, boys. Uh, okay, fine. Raiders Plateau. Ah, this is Raiders Plateau. No. <laughs> the irony. Oh, that's so pointless. Oh, unless this takes me somewhere interesting. Yeah, at 
to get the XP. Oh, not you. New, new, new. Oh, was that base they came from? Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, the hourglass. Okay, well, we're starting to see how this is all connected. That was a waste of time, to be honest. Unfortunately. Yeah, I think we divide and conquer from this point on. We've got a lot of strong heroes, so what we'll do is we'll have you deal with these lot. Oh well, Tarnum's basically there now, so he can deal with them. Especially as it's a heavy siege. Mm, nice fight though. Actually, we've got Golden Bird, we don't even need to put our uh, Thunderbirds at risk here. Okay, god damn, that is actually really powerful. I take that back. That Titan's Curious is uh, busted. Jesus. Wow. Okay, that's max level, right? Wonderful. Let's right, start dividing and conquering now. Close this mission out. I did pick that up, didn't I? Yeah. And 
is a weak ass defense. Waiting for you on the road is a small band of enemy soldiers, but as you approach they throw down their weapons and surrender. Your men cheer at this sign of weakness. How fortunate. For the first time the others are beginning to believe that you can actually take the wall peaks. Yeah, easy bruv. takes me. It is a risk because it's a one-way entrance, but I'm sure it'll be fine. A warning, says an advisor as you approach the monolith ahead. The markings on this portal reveal that it'll only take you in one direction. Once you step through, you can't return, and on the other side is rumoured to be a massive enemy force. Thank you for the heads up, advisor. You have earned your bread. So I want to be sending Tarnum through it, basically. <laughs> right. Let's -a go. Maybe we should um, give Raban this other army that Gurnison has got. Big an army. Weak source. Okay, that's a big army. So Cuthbert lad, how strong are you? Very weak. That's almost insulting. But they're like one twos. <laughs> it's like really. We've had this guy for like four well five missions now. And you think that's gonna stop me? Uh -uh. not. A lone soldier stumbles into your camp, barely alive. He tells you of another ambush. They were part of a small band attempting to transport some gold secretly through your territories. But one night as they pitched their camp, two giants appeared out of nowhere. The soldiers were no match for the creatures, and this man barely got away. Unfortunately, the gold was lost. May gold, I got so much gold coming out of my ears, it's not even funny. Um, so Shiva's exactly who I expect Yala to look like if we ever see her again. Twenty one G's, wow. The thing is, we don't have the purple tent yet, so. Ooh. Hmm, all the reds. Ah, I found Cuffbutt though. No mana. Should be a piece of cake. Pizza cake! There's a big army. I'll give him that. Honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just easy pickings.
Let's slow this one down. I think what I need to do is give Raban this army. So you can get some or him. So it's now turning into a bit of a weird map. Oh hello. Right, I see. Spot my boy. Nothing else there. Okay, there is a black tent there. Ah, which leads to purple, perfect. From the heat blurred horizon rides a group of knights who've been lost in the desert for a long time. If their crazy eyes and sunburned cheeks are any indication. Stand back, you foul demons! shouts their leader. We are the guardians of our lord's treasure! Stand back! Alright. We should give this guy the army so that he can. Gain some XP for the end of this mission. My boy's already maxed, so you know. He did pick that up, didn't he? No, he didn't. Okay. Can. The ambushes have become an unbearable annoyance, so you gather your captains and advisors and ask if any of them have any idea how to stop them. The son of your friend Hardak is the first step forward. A trap, my king, says Tordak. Load wagons with soldiers in disguise waiting for an ambush. We'll release the rumour that half of our gold is in those wagons, so the wizards can't resist attacking it. It's a good idea, and from one so young. You're impressed. So you make Tordak the leader of this trap. Oh dear. Is he gonna die? <laughs> Plague, eh? Kinda wanna see how that trap goes. Don't think we'll have the chance. He's just there. This so will just kill. Final battle of the mission, boys. This is all just for XP, honestly. Might as well put the XP on someone who can use it. My guy's are already maxed, so. I mean, we've got 12 Ancient Behemoths, so I'm not, not concerned.
easy, bruv. Ooh, artillery, yes. GG's, boys, GG's. Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated, and victory is yours. War 5. All right, scenario six, trapped. Tarnum battled his way through the wall peaks, but soon realizes he's entered a trap. His only chance is to capture the northern border town and escape. All heroes are limited to level 25, and the two strongest heroes will follow Tarnum to the next level. Wow, obviously Ogre Madge. <laughs> what is this? What? Tarnum and his horde broke through the wall peaks but he found the wizards prepared for his arrival. A trap. Hundreds of his troops were buried in a magical avalanche, leaving him weak and surrounded in the land of his enemy. A battered group of soldiers returned from the rear guard with horrible news. A massive avalanche, no doubt caused by a magical earthquake, destroyed half of your horde including your supply wagons. The rest of your horde is trapped on the other side of the wall peaks, unable to get through. You're outnumbered and surrounded. You only have those vanguard troops you brought with you, and a small force manning a garrison at your rear. They can hold the garrison for a while, but not forever. Well then. Oh, Gurney, my boy, why are you in... No, that's not good. Um... He doesn't, he doesn't even have a spell book. I don't think I gave him one. Oof. Oh, this could be, this could be quite bad. It's a lot of enemies. And they're split up in a horrible way as well. You do have a ballista though. But even that feels like sort of overwhelming odds. If they attack their blister, that'd be great. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Okay, that could be, uh, could be all she needs. Cap that town. Ancient Bayers. Thing is, the reason I brought him on was so I can get an um, ballista, which now is unlikely to happen. Ooh, boots of speed. No, oh, we could definitely nab that base. Yeah, okay, we got this. Either Bliss is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting here. In hindsight, having the blister was uh, goodness in here with the blister was the right, was a good thing. Can't even build a town hall. Woof. Hmm. 
and he's gonna have to do a lot of heavy lifting this mission. At least in the early game anyway. West, Wall Peaks and Savage Lands. East, Empire Bracadoon. Let's not startle them. Word comes from some barbarian rebels loyal to your cause. They've captured a pass to the north, a pass to the land settled long ago by Yag's descendants. They'll hold it, allowing only you to pass. Surely the blood of the first Horde King will protect you from your enemies, if only you can reach them. For a normal magic user, this guy sure does hit like a truck with his uh, <laughs> spells. Things considered, things have started off pretty smoothly. Which might be a bit too risky for now. Definitely can't take that on yet. You need to give them spells, to be honest. All we need to do, my king, says your advisor Hardak, is to get through the Northern Pass. Our forces are tired and weak. I doubt we can fight off the wizards. In the land of Yark's kin, we'll find protection. Ah. Luis. Did we go to that? Oh, there, yeah, we do. So, Eesh. doesn't really reveal a whole amount, to be honest. Two and a half grand per turn, that's not too bad. Get what we can at this point. We do have artillery. 10 to 19, that seems wild. Two hundred gold short? No way. Oh, lad. Well, I can build a city hall. Nice. Oh, where was that? 
Oh, protected by ancient bay. Oh, there's only a few of them, though. Probably easier to get through than this. Ten ancient... Alright. Wow, oh, boys. We're in for a fight. movement then. Yeah, well, they're going for the weakest units, which is interesting. Pretty fight, but ooh yeah, yeah yeah. The air around you bends like a mirage, so you rub your eyes, thinking you've been riding too long. When all turn returns to normal, you are surrounded a magical ambush. I'm running a little bit low on the old mana rooney. Nine Naga. Mm. That is the threat. Right there. Not bad. Beautiful. Match level on that. It's a risky fight. Yeah, with a ballista we should be fine. Resources, you them all up.
Own Dragon A. Lovely, another base free for the taking. Crushed. Tavern. Oh, I just stopped myself from buying that. Oops. Um. That's cool. Oh, it's gold here anyway. Um. Do too mindful, however, that I don't have the most amount of mana, so we need to recharge. Much money raking in now? Five and a half. That's not bad. It's genuinely not bad, to be fair. Use this. That is pretty weak source. Just in case we need that artifact. Ooh. Tempting. Eh, I guess. didn't I? Yeah. Oh. I believe I forgot that. You underestimated the power of these wizard kings of Bracadoon. So far your victories have been many, almost preordained. Nothing could stand in your way, until now. You can't help feeling guilty about the hundreds buried in the wall peaks beneath tons of rock. Your troops. But tightening your grip on the hilt of your sword, you swear that those who died will be avenged. Stables, that uh, castle, even Is up here. Let's definitely check it out. Half cheese. Now we're talking. Hmm. 
Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you down here. You are going to build a castle up. Oh. Bandits, these brutal murderers have no interest in a talk. They branded their weapons and attacked immediately. Oh my Christ. Not a fight we can win. That was bloody rude. A wandering band of lordless champions are camped here. They mount as, you s as they see you approach, and their leader asks, Are you brave enough to challenge us for the great artifact, the Surcoat of Counterpoise? I am. Wow, 22. Oh my. Oh my. We've really got quite a, um, a fighty army. want to protect the gargoyles. <laughs> Everything else is pretty much... F actually, the gargoyles and the ogre mage are the two I care about. The rest is pretty much fodder. This is so good. Oh man. I think diplomacy is fast becoming one of my favorite skills. It's just so good. Truly. Wow. I went going there expecting some losses, but that was uh well okay then. Oof. Thirty eight. I guess. Eight wyverns though, boys. Eight wyverns. King has arrived. <laughs> ah, choices. Game's making it hard for me. I'll make all these choices. That's a shame.
Your flesh is clammy when you wake, your long hair matted to your scalp with sweat. It takes a few seconds to determine where you are, and in those moments the dream that woke you is so harshly fades away, forgotten. <laughs> uh, okay. This game likes forcing difficult choices on me. <laughs> One. We got no money. This week, we go. Alright, let's do this. Finish this bad boy mission off. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, a prison. By order of the Empire, the dangerous rebel within shall remain in this dungeon unto his death, shouts the commander of the pikemen surrounding the jail before you. They raise their weapons and attack. Okay. This is where Gernison gets kicked off the team. You reluctantly name a replacement for Hardak son. Your choice is a fierce ogre named Blood Club. Although not the brightest of your captains, Blood Club is a frightening presence on the battlefield. Now is the time for rage and mayhem. Although you have won the battle so far, it seems the wizards are always ready and willing to strike back, as they recently did with the ambush in the Wall Peaks. It's Bracadoon's turn to start shaking in its boots. Yog! My boy Yog! <laughs> okay, well Yog's only going to stay with us for one mission. But I will grab his troops. Why has Yog been captured? I mean, I guess this is a prequel, so, you know, Restoration of Rathia hasn't happened yet in the uh, in the timeline, so maybe he was a bit of a bad boy before uh, <laughs> before he became a Rath one of Arathia's greatest heroes. I still find it interesting how um, Bracada is like the modern day Bracadoon, when Bracadoon is so much more savage than... <laughs> what it actually became. I guess we've got Tarnum to thank for that. Sarina? We do actually have a lot of fast, fast units. Nice. <laughs> that went way better than I expected it to. Not gonna lie.
Terry's Hamlet. It's not Terry's, it's mine. <laughs> ah. I'll grab my coat. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Let's go down here first. Tower, lovely. Oh, he's got giants. Lovely got them before Titans. Wow. That all we lose? Jesus. Why are the heroes all so weak? I don't understand. They're all like the wimpiest heroes I've ever seen. It's like they're not like the enemies aren't scaling with us, which is weird. Ooh, magic resistance though. Good that'll do for you. <laughs> right, what a piece of piss that was. <laughs> Oh my Jesus. We have another base or probably not. Their best heroes of 1122. Shut the front door. I feel like almost something has gone wrong. <laughs> like, they should not be that weak, surely. What's the power cap? 25. Is this where we're supposed to go? Who the hell knows? Um. Oh, golden bow. You know, I'll take these fights just for XP. That's all that for uh, mine. What's over here? Just crystal. You see an ornate golden bow leaning against an old tree, but you can't just take it that easily. First, you'll have to fight numerous royal griffins perched in the trees. Do you wish to fight the guards? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's not numerous, that's a hell of a lot. Wow. <laughs> okay. That is no joke. Oh, what a fake. Oh, a bad retaliation. Oh well.
Wow. Take two. Bloody hell. How did you get separated from your army? You walk among the foggy swamp, surrounded by shadows that flit from tree to gnarled tree. It must be the enemy preparing to attack. You draw your sword and wait for death to come. When they finally attack, coming at you from all directions at once, you drop into a fighting stance and turn towards the first one. Swinging your sword, you notice too late that your attacker is the only woman you have ever loved, Yala. Then you wake in your tent, drenched in sweat. damage. <laughs> Alright, just blew out of the game. So we just need to grab this. Easy, bruv. The guards shout, this pass is only open to the glorious Tarnum. Is it really you, says the guard captain? I heard you were over eight feet tall. Oh well, do you want to pass now, my king? Yes, I do. Easy, bruv. One of the gate guards informs you that he was unable to close the pass before a sizable force fortified the border town ahead. That is all that blocks you from entering the valley where Yarg's descendants settled long ago. So I mean this is a strong garrison but they don't even have a castle. So much for a uh, well fortified position, I mean... Someone skimping. <laughs> Who's in charge of this defence? I need to have a chat with them. <laughs> oh boy. I'm actually trying to move him. Whoops. GG's boys, GG's. Congratulations, you have captured Tormina and are victorious. 